because despite what you hear, it was a close vote, obviously. Uh, it was a very partisan vote in the sense that only two Democrats didn't sign on to the coup. My guess is Nancy Pelosi thinks she has the votes for a coup later or impeachment. But if the Senate says there's going to be no trial, there may be some Democrats who think, what have we done? What are we doing here? What are we doing here? We're just going to do this out this crazy impeachment. There's going to be no trial. Well, that that obviously looks like a stunt. Of course, of course, it is a stunt, but a terribly abusive one that tears at the fabric of our constitutional system. So I would encourage you to not only call your members of Congress, and I, I can't emphasize this enough. Many of you, and I've, I've previously highlighted the, uh, your right to petition your government. <laughs> you know, we often ask, what can we do? What can we do? Well, you know, the Constitution tells you what you can do in some ways. You've got a right to petition your government. It's a core constitutional right under the First Amendment. Are you exercising it? And you may say, well, my member of Congress doesn't agree with me on any of these issues. No, don't worry about that. Just call and respectfully tell them what you think about what's happening. Call your members in the House. Call your senators. And raise the issues that you think need to be raised. And believe me, even if they don't agree with you, you're calling them may temper their approach, may change minds. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to catch all the latest news from Judicial Watch.